Hey everyone, it's Bro Wolf MC. <laughs> Welcome to my very first NASCAR race. I've done a bit of street stock to get my D license, uh, but this is my first NASCAR race. I'm in the Chevy uh, National Impala. Uh, what's the car? It's an Impala. Um, and it's a bit twitchy in first gear definitely it likes to spin out really easily uh but i thought you know what let's give it a go i did and yes i only did uh five laps practice um because the race was about to start and i thought i'm not going to wait another hour so i did a couple of laps practice uh got a bit of a handle on the car was doing 40.1 or 41.0 type laps in the practice um so went did quali there were 30 of us on track and somehow or other stuck it up into third position. So I did a 40.9 uh, for my quali lap and landed up third. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this race. I'm going to fast forward a little bit here and there. So don't worry about, um, I'll talk you through it anyway, but I'll fast forward bits where it's just me going around and around following people. Um, and I'll slow down for any bits where there's overtaking or anything like that. But yeah, hope you enjoy my first NASCAR race. I surprised myself and did a whole lot better than I thought I would. So uh, here's the race. Alrighty, so uh, we start off and uh, do our normal sort of warm up lap. And I think one of the keys here is to sort of understand that the um, let's do fire chase for here for now. Um, so this carb, I think it's because it's NASCAR, so I'm not used to driving NASCAR overly much. Uh, even street stock was a bit weird because street stock has like really big tires on the one side, smaller tires on the other side. Whereas this as well, I think similar sort of thing, uh, or the body is like meant to turn, but you're sitting in the steering wheel sort of at this, uh, you can't actually see my steering wheel, but it's sort of at a 10 degree angle facing up towards the side of the track, which is really weird when you're going in a straight line. Um, so a bit of tire warm up and um, guys are good to go so let's fast forward just a little bit uh, till we get around the next corner and then the safety car pulls in um, and uh, pull the pack up a little bit so that we can get go 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 green 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 type thing and um, yeah I thought I would give it a go. So I changed into second gear, making sure I wasn't in first, because if I was in first, I would potentially spin the tires up. Um, I noticed that when I tried to exit the pits, I put my foot down in first, and basically the car just uh, did donuts for a bit. Um, so the safety car goes in. I think this guy's going to bolt, and he doesn't. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? And then as I accelerate, he accelerates, and luckily kept up with him. The guys behind me are gone, gone, gone. So, um, good uh, straight up into third position, which is fantastic. We're going to cockpit so you can actually see what's going on. And um, it's, yeah, it's no braking whatsoever. It's accelerate, uh, lift the foot off the accelerator as basically my braking points or my, my deacceleration points, and I could be wrong. As I'm coming up into this corner over here, my sort of deacceleration is that green light we just gone past. And then as I feel the grip uh, there, then I slowly putting push uh, pushing down on the accelerator again, slowly getting some more um, speed back into the car uh, so I can feel I can fully accelerate. And then same as coming into the next corner, um, I only lift off when I get to that green light that's just gone past. And then same sort of thing. Uh, but when you're following a car, it is a little difficult because you do um, sort of get a little bit unsettled when you're behind them. You lift off and your car, because it's in their suck, you just keep going. So I started lifting off earlier and earlier to try and reduce tire slide uh, as much as I can. Because the more you can reduce your tires from uh, sliding across the track, the cooler the tires remain, the cooler they remain the more grip you land up having. If you get really hot tires, then you start sliding more. The more you slide, the hotter they get. The hotter they get, the more you slide, and then you land up spinning out and all that kind of stuff. So this guy now is dropping away. There's a guy up on the side here. Actually, let me 
um, I thought he might actually try and make the move and he might actually make it stick so let me just show you quickly uh, let's go to uh, let's do TV for this one so you can see where he comes up because he comes up really um, he did sort of get really high on me and then he sent it I think he sort of sends it round he thought he'd go all the way around the top so both do accelerate he's gone all the way around the top but I think he's just way so high out um, he had to slow right down to be able to bring it back in um, so it's definitely uh, fun racing lots of close racing as well and the thing I love like from this TV camera shot the sound is phenomenal it sounds like proper NASCAR um, I love it just going to change back to cockpit quickly because uh, we're about to have actually let's just do chase so um, this guy's got a bad drive out of the last corner so I think okay I'm gonna uh, just stick it up the inside and see and he gives it straight over to me decides maybe he's losing too much time with the guy in front if I um, am able to gain a bit of time with the guy in front then he can stay in my wake and I can pull him along with me and that's it for a while I literally we sit here for quite a while uh, we'll go into mixed TV where's mixed TV gone I'm still learning all this by the way so uh, I do apologize if it looks a bit weird so there I am there uh, we'll fast forward a little bit because uh, what I then do is I realize that the blue guy behind me is actually a little bit quicker than me so therefore um, let him sort of go by uh, when he finally catches up to me so but it takes him a while uh, I then make a bit of a mistake a little lapse of concentration I go really high and had to back out quite a bit um, so you'll see that happen shortly but yeah I just love this view and if we just run it the sound of these cars oh my gosh I love it I'm, I'm not a massive massive NASCAR watch I have watched quite a bit in the last um, year or two years but nowhere near as sort of like Formula One I watch Formula One all the time I, I never miss like a Formula One race and so on um, but yeah NASCAR I've been watching a lot more of and yeah so that's the one I sort of made a bit of a mistake on I went really high and really struggled um to keep the the car without sliding so he gains quite a bit and from gaining that but he's now in my slipstream and as soon as he's in my slipstream he's like cool i'm i'm in here i'm able to go um so let's go back to cockpit view because he's about to come past and i thought you know what he's definitely quicker than me so pointless me fighting i'm going to go up high in a couple of corners i'm going to let him go uh and then i'm going to do the same as that other guy tried with me um follow him and stay in his um suck and just try keep up with him break the toe from the guys behind me and keep pushing um to see what sort of distance we can get away from the guys behind but this is a long race so it's one way you're trying not to um, heat your tires up too much so I've re reduced my speed a little bit there as well ran high all the way around um, thinking he was going to maybe do a bit of a dive and he didn't um, so I'm like okay maybe he doesn't want to go through so we keep pushing and yeah I must say um, apart from some of the like when you trying to like down the bottom here you go down here and your wheels like bouncing all over the place um, it's really nice to drive and it's quite responsive but you do feel that the back tires are like this close to giving grip um, just sort of like saying now nah, I'm, I'm done now I'll see you later and so the whole time and you can see what my steering wheel my steering wheel is doing like this as I'm going because I'm like trying to adjust because you can feel the sort of slide of the car really well um, but yeah, it's a good looking car as well uh, I'm, I've put the uh, monster livery on it um, so I'm running the, the sort of monster livery and this line I'm running by the way is because the guy behind me 
who's going to come through shortly was running that line so i thought well maybe it's a bit quicker so not only am i watching the guy in front but i was also having a look at the guy behind just to see if he was running a different line um as to something that i could try um to maybe make my race a bit faster because as i said this is the first time i've done this and uh i only did like five or six laps pre um quali so i was super surprised when after my first lap it said uh, my crew chief goes oh well done matt that's pole and i'm like what how can i be on pole i mean uh, I mean NASCAR, I've done NASCAR on other games like Forza and all that kind of stuff, but um, I guess it's the same principles and street stock as well, I guess same principles. So I guess it's not one that's too, too hard to work out how and what and everything else, um, but definitely one that takes tons of concentration. And I found actually my neck over here, because you're looking um through the corner so you're looking at where the apex is you're looking at where the exit is um you're not actually just focusing on the little bit of tarmac in front of you but because you're doing that oh sorry my uh, siri doesn't know that uh but because you're doing that it's and i've got three screens by the way um so this is my center screen you guys are watching my center screen i reduced the car size down to a single screen but normally it would be across three screens so this side panel that you guys see over there that's actually like over here the other sort of that part of the car uh this part of the car over there is actually over here so that's where my screen is so i'm sort of not quite in the car but almost um and it does allow you to then sort of look down into that corner and go okay there's a guy underneath me i'm gonna let him go um that was really close he started drifting towards me and then i thought okay cool i'm close enough cut in but you see the line he takes so he goes way 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 across um i'm just going to swap back to uh tv one mode and or tv two mode actually or three so i follow this guy for quite a while so you can see to the gap behind that blue car now he's I think he was 1.1 seconds here so he's still probably got a little bit of the toe um but we're definitely leaving him and you can see way behind there's other activity happening and yeah we keep pushing on uh i'm gonna fast forward a ton because nothing much happens for most of the rest of the race there are one or two things he makes a couple of mistakes and i'm like should i go for it should i go for it and i decide better of it um Let's go into where we're here. Let's go into chase cam, far chase. So yeah, you can see I'm I'm literally just inside his toe. And then round about halfway through the race, I lose his toe. And then I'll end up two and a half seconds behind him. And um, he, I land up two and a half seconds in front of the guy behind me and uh, two and a half seconds behind that other guy. So... Um, I'm going to pause it there, um, we're going to go right to the, can we go right to the end? I don't think we can. No, we can't go right to the end. Um, is that almost at the end? No, that's all at the beginning again. So yeah, I'm going to uh, leave it there and I'm going to say to you guys, um, thank you very much. And um, my first NASCAR race. Uh, somehow around Michigan uh, International Speedway, the legacy one on iRacing. I uh, landed up qualifying third and I finished third. So I got a first podium in NASCAR for my first race, which I am like super, 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 super chuffed about because I seriously thought, oh, I'm going to be, I don't know, if there's 30 of us, I'm going to be 25th. Um, I'm going to land up in a pile. Uh, right at the start we're all going to be smacking into each other and what have you but uh, there were two or three people who had to go into the pits but apart from that everyone seemed to race really well and really clean so uh, super chuffed with that and um, I'll be back with either another um, NASCAR or Mazda Cup or GT4 because I'm still trying to get my road C license and I'm also trying to get my NASCAR C license so my oval C license and thank you guys for watching and just to say bro wolf out speak to you laters